Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to be going to r slash Tumblr and tumbling. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. This is a meteorite that has fallen from a clearly superior part of the galaxy. Obviously. They're such a good meteorite. Look at them. Oh dear. There are guys in my dorm who decide to play cards in the elevator. See, what intrigues me about college isn't the intellectual pursuit or the bonding or whatever. It's the fact that people have the freedom to do random shit like this. Okay, everybody, I have a story about random stuff in college. When I was in college, there was a particular class I took where, no matter what time you walked into class, if you made it into the room before the professor, you wouldn't be counted late. I mean, that's a pretty cool policy, given how some professors are really obnoxious about attendance. <laughs> well, one time a fellow student of mine was running late to class as she reached the edge of the building. She saw her professor making, heading into the front steps, super long rectangle building here, looks up from walking it, and he sees her. He then points to his watch, gives her a well-meaning look who's late face, and walks on inside. What he didn't know, though, was that this particular suit was, like, freakishly good at bouldering and climbing skills, so she was just, like, Screw it, and scaled the building! She tapped on the window of the 4th floor classroom. The floors had like 20 feet ceilings, so she was quite wise up there. The only making one student pissed himself. <laughs> they opened the window, she rolled through onto the floor, and sent it to her seat about 5 seconds before the professor opened the door to the classroom. <laughs> yeah. He did a double take, started to say, how the hell did... When a security guard ran in, red face and panting, pointed at her and bellowed, STOP DOING THAT! Oh my god. So anyway, my classmate is freaking Link from um, the Breath of Wild or Tears of the Kingdom games. Because oh my goodness, that just... Me, I'm not going to turn into a handmade clay jug tonight. Me, after seven tequila shots. This pose allowed me to draw two cards from my deck and add them to my hand. Oh, the uh, pot of greed. Well, my office is going in through a breakup, and a work guy's chat was trying to think of something nice to do for her, and one guy said... And one of the guys very sincerely said, Women like mac and cheese, right? Maybe we could do something with that? He's right, though. This is the only version of Boys Will Be Boys that I'll accept. <sighs> I'm only a, a man when I'm a grown ass man, and I'm only a woman when, God forbid, women do anything. Any other, any time I heard of that, I'm a freaking in the enigma freak. You're just knuckles now.
Man, I hate hey Man, I hate it when people use the pronoun you as a singular pronoun in a, in a formal setting. You is plural, unless thou dost speak to an unfamiliar person. The correct singular second and person pronoun is thou in most cases. Grammar never changes, except it does all the time. Pronouns must always say one way until the end of time. Learn thy proper English. <sighs> Kids, he says. If thou... All this mistake should make on thine own blog, then none o oh, oh, villain. That thou art is a, a dirt eater scriptivist, and no friend of mine. There should language itself alter, it doth remain fixed as such, and untouched by change. Wouldst thou vile this scriptivist, that we forget the heritage of our great tongue? Um, nay, say I, thou art but a Head who sayest so. Yeah, I'm not saying that word. Stint a clap. I can't read this. I thought I was unmuted, I just had this exchange with a coworker on a Zoom call. My main goal is mango. Is <laughs> to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> oh my god. Harold is the main character. Coffins. Coffins used to be built with holes in them, attached to six feet of copper tubing and a bell. The tubing would allow air for victims, but air under the mistaken impression they were dead. In a certain small town, Harold, the local grave digger, upon hearing a bell one night, went to see if it was children attacking to be spirits. Sometimes it was also the wind. This time it wasn't either. A voice from below oh, begged and pleaded to be unburied. Are you Sarah o O'Bannon? Harold asked. Yes, the muffled voice asserted. You were born on uh, September 17th, 1827? Yes, the gravestone here says you died on February 20th, 1857. No, I'm alive. It was a mistake. Dig me up. Set me free. Sorry about this, ma'am, Harold said, stiffing on the bell to silence it and plug up the copper tube with dirt. But this is August. Whatever you are down there, you sure as heck ain't alive no more. And you ain't coming up. Here's to Harold, the most re sensible person in creepypasta. Bless you, Harold. Harold got his stuff together. Harold just survived the first five minutes of a supernatural episode. And that's beautiful. Massachusetts is equal to weight of truces and divided by gravity of truces. Girl, if you don't simplify that fraction, I'm coming for your ass of truces. I can't, Tupler. I don't have a bleep. This is what fanfic writers think people say a, a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Whoa, this character's so cool. I wish they were covered in blood, their whole body trembling with a look of absolute horror on their face as they're struggling to breathe in panic. Why is it that I feel like... That's horrifying. When you are a 14 month old, a French infant in a military hospital in the late 18th century, and that weird hungry guy comes into your room. Can't stop thinking about this post. I don't think any that face you make when type post 
has prompted over 20 minutes of research in me before. I am confused and scared if someone explained in the comments. I'm not, I'm not a, a, a touching this post. The second best pound I've ever encountered in the wild was when I was walking down the street in a hip part of Seattle and saw a couple of Bud Whites cans thrown into a bush. And I, too, a random stranger walking nearby. Damn, the local beer harvest is really poor this year. Yeah, and the random stranger responded, Give it time, they're only buds. Why is this a second... And what the frick could top that? Actually, yeah, what what the heck? How, how the hell is that the second best pun you've ever encountered in the wild? What topped it? Tumblr... Or, 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 or vlog... Uh, uh, you better answer these questions. That I'd be scrolling down right now to the answer of these questions of what topped... This is give a time to only buds joke that you who happened upon. Apple TV and Disney. Pl oh wait, I can't say it on YouTube. Which of these accurately describes what's happening right now? You reading this post that I made. I'm reading this post that you made. Both of those sounded wrong. Both of these sounded right. Show results. I obviously the first one. Right? New brand of lesbian just dropped. What the heck is Butch and Xenogender? Butch is a normal old label. What the fuck do you mean? Butch is a name. Next day they're gonna be called John. Twitter amazes me. Shout out to all the John lesbians. John lesbian and stress like John Wick. And, oh god, I can't read. And John Lesbians who dress like John Arbuckle from Art Garfield. They're subgenres. Love how these are both just descriptions of butches. So... <laughs> No. Sub genres because John. All right, let's just move on. Sometimes having a reputation for being smart beats actually being smart. I once beat my school's chess champion in a game because he spent the entire match desperately trying to work out my strategy because I was smart and therefore or good at chess. We were playing with a Lord of the Rings chess set. I was moving the characters I liked best. I'm terrible at chess. This is a different kind of smart than people. There are many different types of intelligence. You just have reputation intelligence. <laughs> and you know what? That's really good. The real reason Howell kept his castle moving was tax evasion. This sounds like a joke, but I read the book. This is the literal reason. And here I thought it was to avoid people selling his heart or whatever. Cream cheese bagel ending explained. 
what? There is no context. That's just as it. <laughs> Too bad, L. Blue Yoshi. <laughs> just roasting you here. Undersea ecosystems are BS. Like imagine you're low gravity, you go to nibble on a tree sapling, but as soon as you get it, it's oh take a bite, it takes off like a freaking helicopter and disappears under the horizon. Then before or you can process what just happened, the entire patch of grass you were standing on turns out to be a fox who had turned itself inside out and you die. Are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Look, I'm just saying, I'm glad I exist in a place and scale where the main form of getting dead is just something trying to make your blood fall out. I couldn't handle being a crab. I would register a formal complaint, but crabs can't write. I guess you're right about that. A reminder for all trans guys out there, if you're ever dysphoric about your chest not being completely flat, remember that Captain America looks like this. There is no way this was made in satire. No freaking way. Oh no, this is like real. Captain America has um, man boobs. People have said good things about you behind your back, without your knowledge. People have shared their love for you with others. It's so easy to forget this is true sometimes. The same way people often think good, positive things about us, and we'll never know because they don't express it vocally. We get so used to hate speech and judgment in our daily lives, we often forget that the inside of people's heads doesn't have to be a bad place. It can be a place of kindness and thoughtfulness and decency. We just expect the worst because we have been taught that way. And we forget there is another. Take the is to heart. People have been kind to you without ever telling you. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to a wild state in a matter of months, growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. Disappears into the wild and reverts into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are we not? Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. Anyway, that was r slash Tumblr. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!